Hello, my name's Josephine Nan and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube. Um, today we're going to be making these very very cute um, decorations for a Christmas tree. Um, I will be using the great stamp set that I've used quite a lot in all my um, YouTube uh, uh, videos and that oops sorry ladies and that is flurry of wishes we're going to be using this one and this tiny one I'm not actually going to be using any sentiments but yeah so what you need obviously is MDF shapes um, and these are two that obviously that I've made and we're going to try and um, obviously copy one of them or perhaps both of them I'm not too sure I am going to do it in a pink um, strawberry slush I do believe and I think that is retired I'm just going to move that up there and then put these to one side so basically you want to get your shape MDF shape um, you can get these off of the internet um, uh, eBay anywhere um, and then you're going to paint. I've painted one. It's one I prepared earlier. Okay. And then I'm going to use my Versamark ink quite a lot for this. And I've never actually um, done some embossing on my YouTube, but I love doing it. This is really, really simple way to do it. And sorry about the shadowing today. There's no real way of actually, um, I'm actually doing this. I'm popping it on a piece of um, white copy paper and just sprinkling my embossing powder over the top. And then, sorry about the noise, but I'm going to quickly emboss it. Hello, ladies, I should be taking. I hear it there. Um, why it's still wet, I'm going to see. I can be really cheeky and do a triple. I don't think so. I'll just pop this away. got a nice shine on that I think I did try and triple I'm gonna I'm going to do it just again so I want it just a bit thicker no my luck um I don't know if any of you ladies have tried triple embossing before um I have and it's great great fun and watch this space because I might actually uh, have a go at it Oh no, sorry about that. But you're actually seeing all of this. Right, and then we're just going to blast it again. You know what, I never ever ever get tired. I'm watching this go shiny. Look at that shine on there. Brilliant. Okay. Right, so now we're going to bring in the larger, oh sorry, the medium snowflake, and I'm going to really, really um, try and get loads and loads of Versamark on here. Just so say lightly snapping, snapping. This is terrible. This is very, very well loved um, Versamark. Now I'm going to try and bring this down so that we can get it. Near on the centre. Lift it up. 
Now you can't see anything at the moment. I can just about see, I'm just not too sure whether you can actually see the light. But soon as we pop the, here we are again, embossing powder on, you'll be able to see it. There. Isn't that cool? I think that's just super cool. So let's just pop this all back again. Sorry ladies. There we go. And then we're gonna Now, just on the edges, I wanted to bring in my smaller, and I'm very, very naughty because of my two snowflakes. I've actually um, snipped in in half because sometimes I just want a little bit of, and all I'm going to be doing is just stamping over the edges. Just to give it just a tiny, tiny little bit of interest. Um, and I know, I don't know whether you can actually see what I'm actually doing. Perhaps we might, I think I might just leave it there. Right, again, bringing in my piece of paper. And then obviously my embossing. Now with these uh, MDFs, I would actually um, paint both sides but because of quickness um, today I've just obviously just painted one side for you. Um, put this away. Let's just ink this up now. Try and go in again there because that's uh, let's see whether I can get a better. No, I shouldn't. That's a bit better. I love, love embossing. I've been doing this for quite a few years now. So any any type of uh, MDF. I've worked with a bit, uh, quite a bit of MDF. Well. There. there. What do you think about that? I know it's a bit smudgy. I just wait for that to dry. Now um, with these two, I've used my uh, crafty stash and uh, put some gems on. And that one um, I've used, uh, obviously, the Merry Christmas from um, Flurry of Wishes and just one little gem and some tiny bits of glitter around. was actually thinking of um, trying to do the edges here, but I think I'm going to ink instead. So just have a little talk <laughs> with you. So I'm going to bring in the brush in. Blushing Bride now and just ink the edges. These are all the uh, 
in this vintage and uh, all the rage, all the rage. Then what I want to do is just to take a bit off and just go over the top. So it doesn't really matter. It's coming, it's looking good now. Right now I have in my crafty stash and these are retired and I'm sure that I actually said before when um, when we get clearance stuff I always see if I can get uh, obviously because you're yeah, not having that much money to see if I can get anything from the clearance rack when Christmas is over and these were some of it from some of it. And I'm going to just pop that little gem in there like that. There. And I think, let's just put this over here. I think that is super cute. That one. And that one. Then obviously um, I would bring some of my twine in. So yeah. Pop some twine or some ribbon. Um, you can actually do anything you want. Obviously with this one I need to paint the other side, which I will do. I'll get done. But just to show you. Finished. And do you know what? You could even write on the back of these if you want to give it to somebody special who you're going to give it to and obviously the date as well so obviously this is 2015 so you could actually and obviously sign your name so yeah as a keepsake which I think is really really lovely and I hope you've enjoyed my um, YouTube video please pop along to my blog and I'll have any information and obviously I like having a gas on my blog as well, um, I guess, writing up everything. Okay, thank you ladies and gents out there. Uh, bye for now.